Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how's it going? Fine. Very tired. Nice, nice because El Barcita win the match today, the champion. Uh, Madrid, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about football. I'm sorry, but who who's playing? Uh, I'm so sorry. I I imagine that a teacher will be uh, fans, a Madrid uh, fans. A soccer fan? No, not a soccer fan. I used to be a basketball fan when the Bulls used to play. Really? Oh, a lot of time. Long, long time like ago. Yeah. You got the Bulls? <laughs> yeah, I love Bulls. Uh, I remember teacher when the and in the, in Chicago Bulls played um, uh, El Gusano, Dennis Rodman. Do you remember? Dennis Rodman. Oh yeah, Dennis yeah. Rodman. Yeah, and and Jordan, of course. Of course, of course, yes. Car, yeah. Rodman, Carmelo, Pippen. Cody Pippen. Cody Pippen. Yeah. Did you did you watch the um? Um, the biography, what is it? Uh, oh my God. The documentary they made on Netflix about bulls. You haven't seen it? No. I think it's called The Last Game or something like that. It's on Netflix. Sorry? I guess. The Last Dance. I think it's the name, The Last Dance. Yeah, I haven't heard about that. You haven't heard? You haven't heard of it? Yeah, they just watch it. Go to Netflix. It's called The Last Dance. It's like 10 chapters, you know, or so. But it, it's very interesting because you get to know, you get to know how things really worked back then. Okay. It's interesting. We are going to 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 find it. Yeah, make the time, you know. Yes. It's very important to watch the interesting thing. Another documentary that I will recommend you is The Magic Pill. The Magic Pill. Yeah. I, I I remember. I, I I guess that I saw this picture. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a documentary about how to be healthy. And it, it was free on, on YouTube. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so how many are we? We are 13 right now. Let's do the attendance and we move on with the class, okay? So we can take advantage of the time. Hold on. There we are. Don't forget to say present. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Here. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Here, teacher. Gloria. Oh, thank you, Gloria. Okay, Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Yeah. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present, teacher. Yeah. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good evening, present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. 
Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so tonight we got to talk about professional development, programs for professional development. And we basically have to discuss uh, how negative it is not to have a continuous professional programs. How if you don't have a, a schedule to develop your employees, how things could go wrong. What could go wrong? That's the question, the main question today. What could go wrong if you don't train your employees, if you as an employee don't have a continuous training, you know? So we will just make a discussion together. But first, let's talk about in that same kind of topic about yesterday's video. Okay. What was the name of the video? The about the last video teacher that yes the last video ahead. we watched yesterday before we end in the class was called cpd right remember yes but i i remember teacher the woman told about about the training i get the whole video um talk about that then talking about company for me it is it is a good tool for the all employees because when the people have um, frequently a good training, it, um, it's, it, is, it is so easy to do any activity in our job. That's right. If you have the right tools and knowledge, then yes. you're capable of doing things. That's right. Maybe not in the best way, but if you have a quality control department, if you have people really trained on each area, then they can go covering the gaps. You know, they can cover the gaps. And it, no matter, <laughs> and we are an example of this, no matter uh, how much, how hard you study any subject, even English, no matter how hard you study, um, you will always have gaps. I have gaps and I have been speaking for 33 years already, yeah, 33 years already speaking English. And um, and still, I tend to forget some things, you know, we're humans, so we always make mistakes, but we have to learn from them. So in this lesson, now to continue, um, there is a paragraph we need to read, but first, what I will do is split you in groups and you need to discuss about yesterday's video because that video is is very important, okay? Discuss about the video and we're going to do some work together in teams tonight after discussing briefly for 10 minutes, what was the video about? That's the only question. What do you remember about the video? What can you say about continuing professional development? Okay, and I'm gonna write a question here. What can you say about CPD, continuing professional development? What is it? What do you understand about it? Okay, and if you need it at your job, maybe it's up to you, but discuss with your classmates, what do you think? Okay, about CPD, about the video we watched yesterday. And if you don't have the link, I'll send it to you one more time. It's on your WhatsApp, right? Did I send it on, on WhatsApp? I think I did, but anyways, there's the video. Don't share the video, please. <laughs> okay, don't share it here. I'm just gonna avoid that. Okay, so I'm just gonna split you. You have 10 minutes starting right now to discuss with your classmates what you think about yesterday's video. Okay, go ahead. Even if you do it in Spanish, it's okay, but understand, understand.
problem with my dog. Let give me one minute. Pudiste mirar todo. Hello, Julia. Hello, Ada. Hi. How are you? Good evening, Wilfredo. Hi. Good evening. How do you feel? Are you ready to, to discuss the video? Hello, ladies. Could you hear me? Hello. Hello. Uh, do, do you remember about the video that we saw? Le di a la última. Le di a la última dirección que tengo y me sale otra cosa. Es el último video que vimos ayer. Pero ahí me sale una, una compañera, ese es. Una compañera. Sí, ahí me sale la pantalla cuando le doy ahí en el último video que, que mandó. Me sale la pantalla de los compañeros. No me sale el video. A ver, lo acabo de enviar de nuevo. Sí. Ah, okay. Sí, el último link que envié es la clase de ayer. Ah, vaya, y el, entonces el anterior. <ríe> sí, ese es. El que acabo de enviar. <ríe> Pero lo envió a dónde? En WhatsApp. Y acá también en el chat de Zoom. Ah, el, de hoy, el de hoy. Sí. Ah, hoy sí. Sí. Es el mismo video que vimos ayer al final de la clase, ¿ok? Can you see the video? No. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. No lo vamos a compartir ahorita porque tiene copyrights. Pero sí, es el, es el mismo video que vimos ayer. Ahí se lo acabo de poner otra vez en WhatsApp y aquí en el chat de Zoom. Eh, si gustan verlo de nuevo, está bien. Les voy a dar un poco más de tiempo para que lo puedan ver, ¿ok? Ok, okay thank you. Okay, thank you. 
at least one a year. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Yes. What, well, do, you, how what I... do you think, Julia or Gloria? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, but I didn't see the video. Uh, but um, I listening to to them the the, the nothing else. I work uh, I work at a lot. Um, uh, no, no me puedo poner al día con las clases de inglés. I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Only only listen. <laughs> Listen. Only listeners, listeners, and you, For the video. you, get, you get updating. <laughs> okay. And uh -huh. you, well, in my case, uh, I uh, I was watching the video, and I uh, uh, I I have a difficult. Uh, it was difficult to me to understand the topic because, uh, to be honest, I, I I don't know why I I I don't know. It was difficult for me to understand the the topic. But ah, uh, uh, what I get or what I got <laughs> about the video is that when you are uh, when you uh, want to improve uh, in the things that you are doing, you have to be committed. And you have to uh, uh, prove yourself. So that's what I get. I don't know if I'm, if I'm good in the understanding. Yeah, yeah. in a few words, she, talk, she was talking about how important is a training for for the for the company only also for for uh, for the 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 employee yeah uh, she mentioned that uh, be being training being training yeah no or have a training is good uh, because uh, you, uh, oh my God, um, you, how can I, how can I say? <laughs> Nelson, help me. <laughs> okay, where in, in, in the, in the gear say in the video that CDP is important, but, but uh, all uh, employee and need development uh, all time. In, in, but in the in the program that this talk the the, the talks um, in program all day and uh, no not is um, depression in the in the in the study uh, is relaxed because the, in the in this field in the in the study is uh, learning more the 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 training this is say uh, she Is our hello, hello. Hello. We don't start yet.
Okay, nobody's speaking. Let's go back then. I'm sorry, I am think I am wait. Then you're you're waiting finish. for them to answer. <laughs> oh, they, you're they're, no, they're watching the video. They finish. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. They don't finish yet. They haven't. It's a different. No, haven't. They haven't finished. Okay. okay. They haven't finished. Okay. Okay. So I finished uh, watching the video again. So. In my opinion, I think that it's important for an organization have a, um, an employee who feels the necessity to improve their skills or abilities. Um, and also, I think it's important for everyone to um, embrace, like the video says, the continued learning not only for the company, but only uh, but, uh, for you, for yourself. At the end, if you are more prepared, maybe you can uh, have a, a better opportunity in another place. Also, if the company doesn't give you the opportunity to, to grow up in that, in, in, in learn some new things. Okay, Gabriel. I understand that the the girl talking talking about education and in this time with all technology is very easy. You can learn some some topic every every I don't know everything. You can learn everything. You make shoes, you make you can learn cook. You can learn something, something your work. I understand that we don't have excuse for not knowing something. And these opportunities give you more chance for growing in your company. Ophelia? I hello and never on a combination in Tenonilla is a a combination prof professional is finished. Thank you. What do okay. you Okay, I think we're back. Let me see. Yeah, we're all back. So really quick, um, we only have one minute. Tell me, what do you think now? Did you did you recall the information about the video? Were you able were you able to recall the information? Recall. <laughs> Good, thank you. Okay, were you able to recall the information? Recall is a, it's a synonym of, uh huh, Rosa. Recall is when we, when, when we get get back something. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. I remember. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> it's a synonym. Mm -hmm. I remember the movie Total Recall. Total Recall. 
Yeah. Total recall. <laughs> yeah. Total recall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember. I I remember is uh um, development professional. A professional development. Uh -huh. Professional development. Professional development. Hmm. And um, uh, I have a, a training. Training for the CPD. Really? You you were trained on CPD? For 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 being for being mm. competent. Wow. Okay. To be more competent. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. That's great. Um, somebody else? What did you get from the video? Or from your classmates in this case? Sure. Hey, Will. We were talking about that and it is, um, let me see. It is a, 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 good, a good way to learn, to coach to another people. Um, um, or another, another um, skill that you can get it it is could be a, a good manage in in your for example your time your activity your job but the i guess the more the most important could be that you can you can coach and organize or organize organize, organize. yes um for example for example Training to another people or, or your employees. Okay, that's awesome. So let me put a thought that I capture from the video. Okay, it says CPD should be considered as something personal by directors and then cascade throughout the organization making some significant improvements to staff performance. Okay, can somebody tell me what do you understand out of this? In your own words, what do you understand out of this? Read it, read it again. It's on the chat here in Zoom. Continuing professional development should be considered as something personal. Mm -hmm. There are three words. You can define this in three words. Let's see who, who gets it. No. Okay, I volunteer. What do you understand about this passage, this paragraph? Oh, okay. Something personal. Let's start by the word directors. A synonym for director in a company? Everybody, Stephanie, Gabriela, Ada, everybody. Edwin, Ophelia, Sandra, Pamela, Arena. <laughs> what is a synonym for director? Manager. Like manager. Manager. Boss. The boss. CEO. The CEO. CEO. Yes. CEO. Executives. Executives, very good. So, so the boss, there is a better, I don't like the word boss. What sounds better than boss? Leader. 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 Very good. Leader. Mm -hmm. So in other words, leaders lead by example. Right? Be careful with the, the writing on these words. Leaders lead by example. 
And let me give you a brief story, okay? Um, two things. Back in 2009, I started working for Dell, the computers company here in El Salvador in a call center. That was my second, my second call center job. And the guy, the guy that was my team leader, okay, my TL, my team leader, um, he was new, okay? He was new, a new team leader. He was just promoted to team leader. But this guy was very, very creative. So the first thing he did, he started calling one by one, each one of us. We were 20 on the team. We were 20 on the team. So he started calling one by one, one of us, you know, and he started asking us, okay, hey, do you want to grow? Okay. Do you want to grow in the company? Or are you just passing by? <laughs> do you understand that? Are you just passing by? Are you just a passing bird, right? So for example, I said I wanted to grow on HR, on human resources. Others said on sales, I want to learn how to sell. Others said, I wanna be team leader and et cetera, right? So many positions, but he said, we are on a technical department we must sell products because that was his idea. He was so creative that he came up, he came up with the idea of selling on technical calls. Do you understand? So far, so good. Let me see, I'm testing you guys. So far, so good. Uh -uh, you don't say yes. <laughs> Gabriel, how do you answer that question? So far, so good? <gasps> okay. Another question. Got it. Both questions. How do you answer these two questions? I got, I got it. it. I got it. Okay. So if I say got it, you say, yeah, I got it. And if I say, so far, so good? You say, so far, so good, okay? So far, so good? Yeah, so I got it. So yeah, so far, so good. I'm doing good. I got it. Okay, so he said, you know what, guys? We are in the technical department, so I'm going to train you with the A-plus certification. If you don't know what is an A plus certification, is a standardized. Oh my God, beautiful words. It's like ten. Uh, something like that. It's a standardized, standardized. Oh my God, hold on. Standardized um, certification. It means like an ISO. Hmm. It's a standardized certification that. It's accepted worldwide, okay? It's accepted worldwide. If you go to China and you are A plus repairing computers, man, you rock, okay? You rock, you're the best. So the thing is that he started training us and then things happened. But the point is he saw the CPD. The continue the needed we, 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 he he understood that he needed to develop us. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? I hope you have these questions, these words on your vocabulary. Guess what happened? Okay. In three months, in three months, I was a top seller. We were three. Four, four. We were four out of 20. We were four 
top sellers. When I say top sellers, it means that we had commissions of over $500 a month. So on top of the $900, we had $500 on, on commissions. It was amazing. It was amazing. Well, that was one experience. The second experience, the passage that I gave you through the chat on Zoom. This um, continuing professional development should be considered as something personal by directors and then cascade throughout the organization. I had to read one book per month as a manager. I had to read one book per month about management. Why? Well, because my employees needed to be better. And if I wanted them to be better, I had to be better. Makes sense, right? So it was my personal responsibility to learn more to help them. Make sense? <laughs> yes, because it's like your attitude. It's like? Your good attitude for do something, for learn. Uh-huh, it's your, oh, and you say, being a good manager, even being a good person, it's up to you. Okay, and this is a phrasal verb, no, hold on, yeah. This is a per conjunction, actually. It's up to you. Y vamos a aprender a decir esto en lugar de decir, um, oh, depends. Okay, you, you tend to say, suenen decir ustedes, oh, depends, teacher. No se dice depends, it's, it depends. Okay. Entonces, en lugar de it depends, vamos a, ir, vamos a decir, it is up to, y abreviado, it's up to, Ta, ta, ta. Okay, so it's up to the weather. It depends of the weather. It's up to the weather. It's up to my mood. It's up to Rosa. Okay, it's up to you if you want to learn English. Okay, so moving back. You have to develop yourself, especially if you're going to help someone else um, to develop better skills. Now, do you have a mission? And we're missing 22 minutes before the next attendance check. So in 20 minutes, we're going to prepare in four small groups to come out to the front. Okay, okay. so on your WhatsApp group, there is a paragraph that we must read, but you will notice it is sectionated in four groups. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Okay, the first team will explain in your own words. Listen to this, in your own words. So how many are we? We are 18, great number. Let me see, 18 divided by four. That's like four and a half. <laughs> That's like 14 members, okay? So let's say, for example, Rosalena will give us her perception of the lecturing and go like, okay, uh, the first part that was our, our part, we had to talk about CPD, but it means that, da, 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 da. in my opinion, this, this is very important. In my opinion, this is very important for the current job positions, the current way um, companies are working right now. How is this real? How is this real in my company? What I have seen, you know, your personal opinion, your perspective. And then, Another classmate will continue, and then another classmate will give the vocabulary 
that you learned. Pay attention. If you are, si no me están entendiendo, díganme, por favor. Okay? So, another classmate. <laughs> okay, not a problem. Let's do it. Hagámoslo bien. So, decía, uno explica desde su punto de vista, su perspectiva, lo que entendió del pasaje que va a leer en inglés. Número dos, otro continúa. Número tres, los otros dos van a dar vocabulario que encontraron dentro de ese texto que les parezca extraño. Por ejemplo, les va a parecer gracioso, pero esta es la manera en la que vamos a adquirir vocabulario en este módulo. La palabra aim. Aim. Tienes que describir en inglés o buscar sinónimos. Rebuscarte ahorita. Ok. Es más, una vez te reúnes con tus cuatro compañeros, simplemente definan quién va a decir en sus propias palabras lo que entiende de la lectura, quién es y qué van a hacer los otros dos. Escanear, buscar palabras nuevas, buscar su definición, ¿ya? Dividirse el trabajo. Ese es trabajo de hormiguitas, ¿ok? So, esta es su primera prueba. Vamos a ver que también pueden trabajar en equipo. Y la exposición vendrá a ser acá, fácil, grupo 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. ¿Ok? ¿Y cómo nos va a dividir? Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. Ok. It's going to do it, ¿ok? Questions. Questions. Teacher, eh, número uno dijo explicar el texto, número dos, sacar nuevas palabras y número, número tres. Exponer. Eh, eh, ah, exponer. Okay. Uh -huh. Lo importante, Carlita, es dividirse el trabajo entre, entre uh -huh. ustedes. Vamos a ver, siempre surge un líder. Solo les pido, no sean, hay cuatro diferentes tipos de liderazgo. ¿sí? No sean el mandón, ¿eh? no sean el, el, el que llega a ser autoritario y decir, vos vas a hacer esto, vos vas a hacer esto y yo voy a hacer esto. No, no, no. Ok, so, veamos. Ok. Let's do it. No questions? No. No questions. Teacher, las palabras van a ser en las que sacan de, se saca del párrafo de, y, o, y o buscar sinónimo. El punto es, muy, muy buena pregunta. Si dice, por ejemplo, la palabra aim, a -I -M, yo me voy a ir al traductor, voy a ver qué quiere decir, voy a irme a reverso, si acaso el diccionario de reverso, buscar sinónimos, me voy a ir a Desaurus, que es otra página donde yo puedo encontrar sinónimos de esa palabra, porque como lo voy a tener que explicar en inglés, ok, uh, perdón, es desaurus.net, me parece, punto com. ahí lo pueden buscar, ya se lo voy a enviar el link, ok, Group number one. Ojo. Edwin. Sorry for the group one. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. No, no, it's okay. Acuérdense que solo uno va a explicar todo en sus propias palabras. Esa es una parte muy importante. Que el que explique lo haga desde su perspectiva. Una persona que tenga mucho raciocinio, ¿ok? So, let's do it. Vamos a ver. Eh, grupo número uno, Julia, Patricia, Ofelia, Sandra Gladys, Stephanie, Elizabeth y Wilfredo Guardado. It's group number one. Okay. Grupo número dos, Ada, Patricia, Adriana, Stephanie, Gloria, Elizabeth, Ofelia, Orellana. Y Rosa Elena Salgado. Y che, Ofelia la dijo en el primero. ¿Verdad que aparece? Me parece que Ofelia se ha logueado con dos usuarios, con sí, dos de celulares. La, de la compu y el celular. Eh, vaya, hagamos una cosa. Quédese en el grupo dos, Ofelia, ¿ok? Va, ok. No en el uno, ok. El dos, eh, no, okay. Hmm. Bueno, número tres, grupo número tres. Gabriel Ignacio. Y che, y te, sorry. Sí, solo, tres, el, vamos el, solo tres dijo de, 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 del grupo dos. Dijo eh, Ada. Tú, tú, tú no estás ahí. No, 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 pero estoy tomando Ajá. nota. En el grupo dos va Ada, Patricia, Adriana, Gloria y sí. Roselena. Ah, Rosa Ajá. faltaba. <ríe> ok. Grupo número tres. Group one, please. <ríe> Vaya. Voy otra vez, desde el uno. 
Número uno, Julia, Patricia, Ofelia, Orellana, Sandra, Gladys, Stephanie, Elizabeth y Wilfredo. Teacher, sí, pero dijo que Ofelia se iba a quedar en el grupo 2. En el 1. En el 1 se va a quedar todo. En el 2. No, en el 1 dijo, teacher. Mira, al final va a recibir una notificación en cada, en cada dispositivo, así de que hay que ella elija. Ok, solo uno, Ophelia. Ok, okay. grupo número dos. Ada Patricia, Adriana Stephanie, Gloria Elizabeth y Roselena. Grupo número tres. Gabriel Ignacio, Gabriela González, Nelson Edgardo y Walter Mauricio. Okay. Grupo número cuatro. Carla Vázquez, Pamela Beatriz, Susana Carolina y Wendy Patricia. Soy algo interesante que a mí se me acaba de ocurrir y no se me ha ocurrido, pero ya estuvo. Ok. <ríe> Ahí está en su WhatsApp. Ok. Ahí están los grupos exactamente como yo los veo. Ok. Si alguien se desconecta, yo voy a ver ahí en esa imagen a dónde es que le correspondía estar. Ok. Se les pierde la conexión. Let's do it. Vamos a hacer lo mejor que podamos. You can do it. Ana Selmi. Vamos a ver a dónde metemos a Ana Selmi. Ok. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. I am driving in this moment. Uf, ok. I need only 10 minutes. Ok. Be careful. Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, will you start? 
Ok. ¿Estar mí? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Ok. Keep, keeping pace with the change can tell you to stand out. And the rewards don't end there. Be smart and so you make the most on the opportunities CPD can offer as opposed to mainly closing out a house. Continuous professional development or CPD is an integral part of many career paths. Also, the requirements vary. There are many professional and the personal benefits to keeping or quite your CPD from honey skill to finding a new role. Continue. Continue. Uh, guys, if you want, we can delegate. Who's gonna explain it? Uh, who's going to uh, look for the vocabulary? Sorry, ladies, but I, I tried to, to synchronize myself with another, but I, I lost some information and I can open so, so finding my cell phone. Okay. But but okay. I, I I guess that the Sorry. teacher <laughs> wanted that. Nah, yes, yes. <laughs> the technology is hard for me. I mean, I'm, okay. I'm... <laughs> you need you need training. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> But today my company changed my cell phone, but I tried to synchronize with the, the old mm, cell phone. You need to download the smart application, smart. Yes, yes, but but I'm going to try to, to help you, ladies. If, um, I, I, I don't know, on the last chat that I, I could saw. Copy, copy. Could you share the, the screen, please? Somebody, somebody can do it. I have it. Thank you, thank you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 We are, we are going to discuss, discuss. 
Mm, well, we have to choose who is going to explain. Uh, two persons have to explain in their in their own words, uh, and two have to look for the vocabulary for the words uh, that we don't understand. Okay. For tomorrow, really? I, I don't know. I, I didn't hear to the teacher when when she is, when when he explained it. No, I think it's for today. <laughs> Boys, yeah. today. Yep. Yep. <laughs> really? Today. Really? Yes. Today, really? Yes. <laughs> That's why we're in teams right now. Ah, traductor, teach. I need traductor. Yes, well, try, try to get the vocabulary. Por eso les dije ahí los pasos, uno a uno, están en el WhatsApp. Los tres pasos que vamos a seguir para hacer esto, rapidín. Don't worry. Delegate task. Mm -hmm. who's, go, who's, who's gonna do what? ¿Quién yes. va a hacer qué? Okay. Okay.
te parece? Which word? Could you repeat that word? Uh, number one, two, three, four, five. Five lines. Ah, uh, bookland. Bookland, yes. It's a surname. Excuse me, in Spanish? Es el apellido, Guy Bookland. Bookland. Guy, el nombre Bookland es el apellido. Ah, okay, thank you. One word is uh, abreast, is at the beginning. It says, keeping abreast with technical advances within the, your professional is just one of the benefits of staying in touch. Keeping abreast, abreast. Keeping abreast. Mm -hmm. Abreast. Uh, means de frente. The other, I think, the abbreviation USP, I think, is unique selling proposition. Proposition, sorry. It is almost at the end of the second paragraph. Did you find it? And uh, the other, the other word is uh, outspoken, clay. Which one? Sorry. Uh, outspoken, clay, or clay. Uh, where is that? Where is that word? Is the abajo de port plane? Uh huh. Osborne. Osborne Clark. Yes, Osborne Clark. Uh, is the name of the law firm. Es el nombre de la firma de abogados. Son apellidos, Osborne Clark. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. 
Do you have another word? Este, and the paragraphs and the you is pure. You sweet pure. OSP. I think is the abbreviation of unique selling proposition. Okay. You need the selling proposition. Unique selling proposition. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I found on Google. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, I am late. I... Oh, it's okay, don't worry. But in this moment, I am trying to connect. Oh, that's, that's computer. good. That's good. I'm sorry, because I I couldn't participate in the activity. Don't of the worry, group. that happens sometimes. I'm just waiting I'm for everybody so we can do the attendance. I am trying to connect. Okay, so we are all here and back. I'm just going to do the attendance, okay? Solo voy a pasar asistencia para que regresemos a nuestros mismos grupos. Eh, me preguntaban, ¿y eso es para mañana? No, es para ahorita. Ok, vamos a ir pasando uno por uno de los cuatro grupos. Ahora podemos pasar los cuatro, ok. Eh, vamos sí. a pasar asistencia rapín y luego continuamos. Si tienen alguna pregunta, luego de pasar asistencia les pregunto, ok. So let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Late, but present. <ríe> Edwin Alexander Ayala de Razo. Edwin, Edwin, se estaba por acá. No, ok. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Gabriela, perdón, Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gracias, gracias. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Ok. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Here. Ok. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ahí estaba Nelson. Ofelia, <laughs> Ofelia Orellana Arce. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. 
Good evening in present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Ok, ¿hay alguna pregunta en cuanto al desarrollo de esta actividad? No. Vamos bien. Obvio en Spanish. Obvio. Okay. Obvio. Espero que hayan visto esa película, El Hoyo. Ajá, Susana. No, I can see. You're so far so good? So far. Sí, el, del vocabulario tiene que ser solo el sinónimo o lo que significa. El significado. Si es posible en sus propias palabras. So, for example, aim. Aim is a synonym of um, target. Is a synonym of target, targeting, uh, goal. Goal is another synonym for aim. So it means, in my own words, it means when you point at something and you want to shoot at something, for example. And there is a common saying, aim to the moon, aim to the moon. That's a common idiom, a common saying of that word, aim to the moon. So let me one. Mi consulta iba relacionada a eso, que si Ajá. teníamos que relacionar la definición o el sinónimo conforme a lo que significaba la palabra dentro del contexto en la oración. Ah, no, no, solo la no, palabra. Solo la palabra. De... No, solo, no, no nos compliquemos, ah, solo okay. la palabra. Ok. Para que todos los compañeros comprendan y quien no sepa la palabra, pues okay. ya, ya la comprenda. Ese es el, la, la, el punto de esa dinámica es entender. Okay. Entender lo que se está leyendo y el nuevo vocabulario. Gracias, Susana. Nada. Okay. ¿Alguien más? No. Ok, es 9.15 right now. Vamos a tener los últimos 15 minutos y luego empezamos desde el grupo 1 o desde el grupo 4, puede ser. No, verdad, no tendría lógica. Tenías que empezar de 1, 2, 3, 4. Ok. So let's do it. Vamos, chicos. Ustedes pueden lograrlo. Yo solo estoy de oyente. Voy tomando nota de alguna área de oportunidad que yo note mientras ustedes hablan, ¿ok? Y si sí, no se sientan cohibidos, si necesitan hablar en español, no todo, ¿eh? Pero si algo no sienten que, que el compañero está como que, no, no te entiendo, decímelo otra vez así, pero más suavecito. Entonces, díganselo en español, no hay problema, ¿ok? Ok. Let's continue. Ana Semi no se había unido a algún grupo. No, no. No, ¿verdad? Vaya. Vamos a ver, a ver, a ver. Ah, ok. Un grupo 3 está un poquito patojo. A ver. Yep. You got it. Let's go. Hey guys, let's join our groups. Let's go, let's go.
the finding new role. Finding new new role. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I'm I'm angry. Okay. And do you want to be the first one or the second one? I'm going to, to work in the first one. Okay. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, to explain what we have understand, we have to just say what we get about the paragraph or we have to read a little bit and then explain. It's up to you, but okay. your own words is the best in your okay. own words. Okay, guys, I, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever you can say. <laughs> I like that word, merely, as opposed to merely clocking up hours. Merely clocking up hours. Okay. Okay, guys, I merely understood. I I know what merely means, but in that phrase, I don't know. Like, I, I don't understand what it's it like a, a duras penas. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, it's, it's looking at powers. Like in? Uh, merely looking at powers. Como... Yeah, it's just that merely comes from mere, 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 M-E-R-E. Mm -hmm. -E. A mere example, a mere example. Un mero ejemplo. Entonces, mero es como muy poco, apenas, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. En clocking up hours. Merely, simplemente eh, acumulando horas, marcando okay. horas. Entonces, llegas a trabajar solo por marcar las horas. Ok. Uh -huh. Good. Sure. Hello. In a few words, we're going to reduce the, the paragraph. Yeah, just say it in your own words. Okay. So you're in the second <laughs> paragraph. Anyone looking to take stock of their level? CPD might want to start with reviewing any mandatory requirements. Oh, come on. And their profession is <laughs> this can vary really? currently. For example, character surveyors must complete a minimum of 20 hours CPD a year, while the Royal College of Veterinary, Veterinary Surgeons recommend an average of 35 hours a year. So this means, uh, well, the first part of the paragraph means that um, if I am an accountant, if I want to measure my level of continuing professional development, um, I need to go to the requirements of my profession as an accountant. And in fact, accountants must know new laws every year. So there you have a measurement. We need to be up to date with the latest yeah. laws in accounting, yeah. right? So I'm in an 80%, I'm in a 90%, and that's my level of CPD at this point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not. Uh... How can I say? I'm not lost. <laughs> yeah, lost? you got it. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> okay, lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was not that lost. Okay, I'm not okay. that lost. Very good. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. 
I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, prepare vocabulary. Uh, Ada, Gloria, Ophelia. Yes. Arena. Okay, good, good. Yes, Glorita? No, no. <laughs> All good? All good? Okay. Sí, es que yo me voy a dedicar siempre a, a seguir con el párrafo. Okay. Yes, I confirm I have the presentation. Okay. That is Okay, and I said me for me the words that I found uh, are abreast. Abreast in the fear in the fear pro. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other is USP. Abreast. The other CPD. U USP. USP. Mm -hmm. It is almost at the end of the the paragraph. In the end. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. USP. The other is within. The other is with. Within. W I T H I N. We think. Within. Where is the um, Is. Uh, in the first paragraph, in the first uh, row, keeping abreast with technical advances within your profession okay. is the, just the, one of the benefits of staying in touch. With in, okay, uh -huh. the preposition, yeah, within. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only those. Is essential and knowledge between. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and send me for me is a CPD. CPD. Okay. CPD, yes. CPD. Okay. It's a continuum. Right. It's a continuum professional development. Continue, and, continue and professional other, development. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another is a, a knowledge. 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 Okay. Knowledge. Another okay. is a, a bot club. A bot club. Bot club. No? Okay. What, what work, uh, Walter? Uh, bot club. Este, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero se escribe B U C K L A N D. Este eh, Gabriel me decía que significa apellido. No, es el apellido de la persona, así como ah, el tuyo es Morales. Excuse me. Ah, okay, thank you. No, apellido. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. 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 Entonces no la tome en cuenta. Excuse me. Ajá. Ah, okay. No, no, it's the, it's the owned. It's the name. Yes. Ah, okay. Eh, Abres, ya la dijo. Abres, eh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Y la otra es eh, UCP. You need salary professional. Uh -huh. USP. Yes. Okay. Okay. And Pierce Turning. Excuse me. Peers turning. In the second paragraph, in the three row. The peers, you'll get your peers turning 
up in uh, tears turning up. Tears turning up. Compañeros que aparecen. Empieza Pamela y una vez. Una vez termine Pamela, doy otra introducción para que empiece Wendy, para podernos complementar. Ok. okay. Maybe I can also... the, 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 the words is my, is my part. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. You, you, can, you can choose new word or synonymous. How do you mm -hmm. say synonymous? Synonymous? Synonymous. Synonyms? <laughs> like noni? Do you like synonyms? Synonyms. Synonyms. Okay, synonyms. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Synonyms, new word, and synonyms. Okay. Uh, Carl, no. Carla and I uh, read the, the new words and synonyms. Synonyms. Synonyms is mm -hmm. correct? No, no, Susan and you. Ah, okay. You and me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You can choose Wendy if you say new words or synonyms. Mm, new words for me. Ah, you are bad. Okay. I say synonyms, personal growth. On their own, but and only only say the word. One, we one need to explain one by one. For example, I I read self improvement, and you say uh, the personal growth. Or, yes, but, but we need to explain what is personal growth. We need to explain that, or only say the name, say the word. I'm sorry. Um, I don't remember. Teacher, can you tell me? Uh, okay, guys. So self maybe. self improvement. Um, a synonym could be personal growth, and it means that a person studies or okay. is trained to to we be better, to, to do better. To uh -huh. Okay. Briefly. Ah, okay. Bien okay. brevemente, muy brevemente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I read the, 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 the words and you uh, read the synonyms and explain, short explain, explain. Or you can say three and I say three. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh... Si quieren, podemos, ajá, si quieren podemos empezar de, de, de nuevo, okay. ya, ya tengo como la introducción. Ok. Pamela. 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 Ok, ok, and I start. Ok, yeah. thank you for your attention. We are group number four. Then Pamela will read and explain the letter about reading. You can so, say in his words. Ah, you can you can change that. You can. Ah, okay. Ah, uh -huh. uh, uh, sí, sí. Okay, voy a repetir. Thank you for your attention. We are group number four. Then Pamela will read and explain a little about reading in her own words. Yes. Okay. Go, Pamela. Are you, uh, is is good for you, Wendy, Pamela? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you explain it? Ah, yes, I'm going to help improve it. Men, thanks to you to reduce stress from job because you are working to give a chance for the better of yourself. For example, learning a new language, working, tower advising your rank on um, volunteering uh, or doing volunteers are example for how you do self-improvement 
CPD is focused to improve your skills around work and reduce stress levels as a result. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know if I have, I, I have a problem with internet, so uh, on the your understand what I see. Or you can read it again if you want. If you can do that be, be more slowly. Ah, more slowly. Ah, okay, yeah. I'm sorry, thank you. Yeah, you, you, you are agree with you. Well, selling proven men helps you to reduce stress from job because you are working to give a chance a change for the very Teacher. Hey. What's up? And I, I, I have a question. I have a little question. In the second paragraph, it says the smart employee makes the most of the opportun opportunities ZPD can offer as a post to merely clocking, clocking up hours. Teacher. Uh, could, could be like when when I I I don't find any way to do the best uh, or or make my my process uh, for example more lean lean have you have, have you hear about this word lean, lean manufacturing lean manufacturing yes yes, yes. but I, I guess that this um, this way it is like a, a smart way to do some process, for example. Mm -hmm. Then, but if I think I think uh, only clocking up hours, it is like uh, I'm going to say in Spanish. Como que solo voy a pasar el tiempo por mi trabajo, hacer lo, lo, que, lo que me dice. Yep, you don't go out of your scope of support. That's the word. Scope, remind me of this scope of support. I think that's right. It is right. when, for example, you work to accumulate hours. Uh huh. You're just there to get paid. And that's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, a, a guard, you know, a, a security guard, a security guard at a building. He is there to take care of the building and the employees, but he doesn't like to help employees to park their cars. Like, right? He doesn't like to give instructions. He's there to secure yourself, you know, but not to give instructions when you're parking your car. That's out of his scope of support. Scope of support. Yeah, and I mistyped it. I'm sorry. It's a scope. S-C-O-P-E. Scope. Scope. Scope of support. Scope. Scope of support. Mm. I remember the SOS. <laughs> That my scope of support is teaching you, and that's it. That's my only duty here, my only duty. That's all I do here, teaching you. I have nothing to do with your attendance. If you come to the class, it's up to you. You got it? 
Yes. Man, yeah. imagino que si hace fuera todo el mundo. And honing the skills means we have to improve ourselves in, for example, uh, some skill um, to become a, almost perfect on, on that skill. Mm, honing, I, I saw that word. This is the first time I see it actually as well. Honing skills. Um, and it's specifically. Yeah, it's like to become perfect or close to perfect to something. Oh, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. And the base verb um, is hon, H-O-N-E. That is a synonym of sharp, remember? It's like, it's a synonym of that phrase, honing skills will be uh, becoming sharp, sharpen, Sharpen and something, sharpen skills. Let me see. Yeah, if you want to sharpen skills, if you want to sharpen your skills, it's the same thing. Honing skills, sharpen skills. Sharpen is like um, como mejorar o afilar o algo así. Uh huh. Okay. Sacar punta. <laughs> yeah, afilar. That's right. Claro, en un sentido figurado sería mejorar. And the keeping pace with changes, it's um, like uh, when you have to move uh, at the same speed as someone else, or it's uh, it's like um, to keep in update. Yeah, keeping up to date, um, afilar la sierra. There was a way to say that, hold on. There's a way to say sharp the saw, sharpen the saw. Keep your, keep your saw sharpened. Keep your saw sharpened. Mantener tu sierra afilada, which means be prepared all the time. And yes, you will be, um, ahead of others, ahead of the others. That's right. Uh-oh, time's up. Let's go. <gasps> okay. Okay. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. 20 seconds. Y que nos estarán diciendo, y esto es dinámico, estar leyendo y tener que pasar a hablar de esto. ¿Sabes qué? Eh, sí. Esa es la mejor manera en la que vas a poder hablar inglés. Eh, te pongo un ejemplo bien burdo y bien específico y adecuado a este momento. Mi hijo menor, tengo tres hijos, el menor de 10 años, estudiando cuarto grado, pero le da una pereza leer. Sale igual a mí. Igualito, en muchos aspectos. Y el principal aspecto en el que se parece a mí es la dislexia. No le gusta leer y cuando lee se pierde entre líneas y por eso lo siento con um, Gabriel, ¿verdad? porque sí, me equivoco cada rato, sí, me siento mal por eso también, pero ya se me va a pasar, rápido se pasa. Entonces, el punto es de que él, um, ahorita la única manera como profesor que he encontrado de atacar el problema de dislexia es la manera en la que yo lo ataqué, aunque yo estaba mayor que él, mayor que él, llegué a corregir ese problema leyendo. Solo leyendo va a poder corregir eso. Entonces tú en tu caso quieres aprender inglés rápido, lee lo que sea, lee, ¿sí? No buscas la traducción directamente en un diccionario como yo lo hacía de pequeño, no. 
lo que entendí que lo que tenía que hacer era ver el contexto de dónde está la palabra. Tienes una línea de letras, de palabras, hey, tiene lógica, ¿no? Lo que estoy leyendo. Entonces, si yo regreso al párrafo anterior o a la línea anterior y veo la línea que sigue, esa palabra muy probablemente va a tener sentido. Es decir, ocupa la traducción como el último recurso. ¿Ok? Good. Eso solo es un pequeño consejito. Let's go with group number one. We're not ready. Come on. Okay. Group number one is going to talk to us about keeping your career moving with continuous professional development. ¿Estamos listos? Okay. Good. Let me just change the view. Okay, whenever you're ready, your, the stage is yours. El punto de esta dinámica es que sus compañeros comprendan. Yo no estoy aquí. La clase es suya. Ustedes son los profesores. Si le quieren hacer alguna pregunta al final de su exposición, algún compañero y decirle, por ejemplo, Julia, explícame por favor qué quiere decir tal palabra. You can do it. It's your class. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. Let 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 me let me try to to explain to you. I'm so sorry. I I I find in a chat. Okay, I am going to talk about the 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 first the first paragraph. For example, <clears throat> keep your career moving with you con with continued professional development. Keeping peace with changes can help you stand out, and the reward don't end there. And I am going to try to explain the first one. Uh, for example, uh, if we stop, we stop to learning. Maybe we are going to to be flat, talking about knowledge. But if you are continuing get it, getting more, more and more knowledge, maybe you could be moved to another position in your company, or you can get some the best result in your, for example, um, I don't know, and your subject, if you are starting at university, you can get the best result in, if you are a seller uh, or any, anywhere, any, any, any process. <clears throat> and I am going to talk about the, the last, the, the second paragraph. Let me check. check. The smart employee makes the most of the opportunity CPD can offer as opposed to merely clocking up hours. Okay, what what the meaning or what I guess about that that the um, the smart employee always. Mm, they are trying to learn or they are trying to find the best way to to do to do something for example if they <clears throat> try to aprovechar al maximo teacher i don't remember uh, could, could you help me please yeah. aprovechar al maximo take advantage to the fullest i'm okay take advantage take advantage to the fullest i'm okay if the smart employee take advance to the I, the last word teacher to the fullest fullest mm -hmm. uh, okay if they uh, do that maybe when they achieve uh, when they achieve all their objectives or their goals it is going to be grateful for them. Then, I guess that um, only if we are only uh, clocking, let me let me see that I, I don't remember this word, clocking up hours, 
we are only to do only that my boss told me, Wilfredo, you are going to do this one, this one, and this one activity. And when I finish, I am going to be the, the let, let me see, puedo tomar la, la postura. Yes, only I finish, I be, I finish what my, uh, my boss told, only told me that I am going to do this activity, but I finish and they, I, I don't, I don't find another way to do another thing. You don't look for it. Yes. Yes. You I, you you are not I, willing. You are not willing to do something else in your job. I'm okay. Um then in the third paragraph says continuous professional development or CPD. It is an integral part of the merely career path. A, a thought, the requirement body. There are many professional and personal benefits to keeping, keeping up with your CPD from honey skills to finding a new role. And um, let me try to explain you because this paragraph is so long. Um, if if I keep in learning or develop me in my process or my knowledge, maybe maybe it is. I I guess I that is going to be really that maybe I I could be in another position or making a new role in my company. Only teacher. Okay. Uh... Continue with the idea of Wilfredo. Uh, uh, this uh, this topic uh, or this paragraph was about to go beyond your expectations, to always do more. Uh, and it continues saying in the in the first paragraph when said that even when you just look for uh, to sorry to add a booster to your CV, uh, the CPD is an ongoing process. So, so you have you, you have to keep in mind that is something that you have to continue doing. That you cannot be just uh, waiting for for the things to happen. That you have to go. And, and and do more. And Carolyn Clement, the director of membership at the Charter Institution of Building Services Engineers, she says uh, that this is a long term commitment so that you have to keep that commitment and you have to. Uh, be more proactive and also in the last paragraph andrew williams mentioned that a lot of things can count as a cpd things like monitoring people in the workplace being mentor or learning a new language for business so cpd is something that you have uh, like, like, like that is easy to to get because you can improve yourself in in different ways, not just uh, in in one way. So you can teach, as the teacher was saying, you can teach, you can learn new languages as we are doing right now. Uh, the thing uh, and the thing is to improve yourself and to be better. That. Congratulations, that was beautiful. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's uh, let's hear some uh, vocabulary brought to you by. Let's see, Ophelia, Sandra, and Stephanie. I guess. Okay. 
Okay, good night everyone. We identified eight words. I will talk about four and my uh, classmate uh, Sandra uh, will explain the others. Uh, the first is keeping peace with changes. Uh, keep peace, uh, literally uh, the meaning is to move at the same speed as someone. It's something like you, uh, you keep update and be prepared uh, all the time. What is a stand out? A stand out uh, is something that is noticeable. For example, um, he was noticed in the class because he is the smartest, for example. And uh, the other is merely clocking up hours. It's uh, when, for example, uh, you work only for accumulate hours. Uh, for example, in this case, it's um, like a security work. He is uh, only in the, uh, he is only to take care about the building, but he is not there to help to park your car, for example. It's like a scope of support. And the other is um, honing skills. Hone is a synonym of sharpen. And it means when we have to improve ourselves in that skill. And so that we become almost a uh, perfect, or for example, if someone is good at English, uh, they can study vocabulary every day to, to improve uh, themselves. And now uh, my, cl my classmate, um, Sandra, will explain the other words. Okay. My other words are active sports on goal, on goal process. Uh, I mean the continuum process um, and similar or uh, synonymous method uh, processing uh, underlines. Sec uh, uh, right thing, two. And second word, uh, bonding, uh, similar or synonymous in life, instant, aggrandized. Uh, three, three words, uh, truly, uh, similar, uh, similar is a uh, really, is a really, sure, only, only that. That's it? Yes. Ok. Bien, eso dejaría de ser una clase de aprendizaje si no hay eh, retroalimentación de su parte. Me estoy escuchando a mí mismo. Estamos en la radio YSKL. Por allá al fondo me escucho como que se estuviera la radio encendida. A ver, la papa, la papa, la papa, la papa. <ríe> Qué feo. Ok, hey. Uh, bien, permítame. Bien, ya apagué los micrófonos, hoy sí. So, eh, sería, dejaría de ser una, una capacitación esto si no escucho de ustedes. So, tenemos un minuto y medio prácticamente. Um, Súper rápido, estaba recordándome de alguien, Jordi Sierra y Fabra. Jordi Sierra, hay una video en BBVA que les voy a compartir el link del video completo eh, él dice algo muy importante cuenta la, la, la anécdota de un señor que bueno él conoció en un pueblito él llegó a dar una conferencia sobre desarrollo humano y no sé qué no me acuerdo de qué y la cosa de que llegó este señor escucha la conferencia se fue a Jordi volvió a los 10 años y este señor lo salió a encontrar y le dijo, mire, usted vino hace 10 años 
y dijo que no importaba la edad. Que había que buscar algo para seguir enamorado de la vida. Yo tenía, parece que le hice 60 años cuando usted vino. Ahorita tengo 70. Y en, en estos 10 años saqué una ingeniería y una maestría en sistemas. Y ahora el problema es que no sé qué más hacer, que, que tengo tantos planes que me queda. O sea, el señor no está pensando en que tiene 70 años. Está pensando en que le queda mucho tiempo todavía para aprender algo más. Entonces, es bien bonito esa parte. So, ahí se lo voy a compartir, ¿ok? Eh, les pido de favor que eh, quienes vayan traduciendo el vocabulario, mañana vamos a seguir con esto. Y ahí quedó la captura en el grupo de los grupos. Mañana seguiríamos con Ada, Patricia, Adriana, Gloria, Ofelia, eh, perdón, Roselena. Um, y así, ¿no? Ahí están los cuatro grupos. Seguimos mañana. Chicos, eh, el grupo uno, si son tan amables de compartir el vocabulario que sacaron o la hojita que crearon, me, me gustó que estaban ahí sobre, subrayando las cosas. Ok, ojo, eh, está bonita esta dinámica, solo es de poner bien atención, agarrar el vocabulario nuevo, tratar de aplicarlo en oraciones, ¿por qué no? Ojo con eso, eh. Ok, I'll see you tomorrow. Me quedo esta noche con tan 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 Ana Selmi Chévez 10 minutes, ok Ana Selmi, ok, okay good. good, good, good good night everybody Ada Patricia Linares Galdames okay. thank you Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores Present. Gracias. Esa camarita, chicos. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Ok. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Presente. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good night. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Susana okay. Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See, you See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
eight. But in this occasion, the meeting was long. More give long. Me... <laughs> okay, give me just one second, okay? Sorry, my kid, my, my eldest, my eldest son was saying good night. Okay, <laughs> so let's see the schedule of the meeting and the schedule um, of the meeting and ends and ah yes, the schedule <laughs> of the meeting and ends. Okay, or the meeting is scheduled to finish. The meeting mm -hmm. is scheduled. The meeting is scheduled. The meeting is scheduled. The meeting, the meeting is scheduled. Ah, uh -huh. hmm. Let's see. Si se fija, hay dos S. Veamos. The meeting is, yes. voy a poner en mayúscula eso, scheduled. Es que y eso sí. va en pasado per participio, de hecho. Y esto se llama la voz pasiva. Ya, creo que ya lo vieron. Sí. The meeting is scheduled to finish sí. at. Ok. Da ese ceseo no ocurre en el español. Y sin embargo, sí hay palabras que empiezan con E. Y van seguidas luego de la S, ¿no? Es, espérame. <laughs> okay, yes. the meeting is scheduled. 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 Mm. ¿Cómo corrijo eso? Yes. Bien, me tengo mm -hmm. que enfocar en el ceseo. Entonces, Rosa Elena tenía este, este problema y lo corregí cuando estuve con ella. Creo que era básico tres, algo así. Entonces, ¿qué hice con Rosa Elena? Y con Rosa Elena fue que descubrí cómo corregir eso rápido. Simplemente hay que agarrar aire y luego soltar el aire entre los dientes sin decir nada primero, solo. No más que para. Ok, ya lo entendió mi cerebro. Ahora voy a empezar a decir palabras que empiecen con S. Las primeras que se me ocurran. A ver. Student. Stop. Sí. Lo, lo escribí mal, ¿verdad? Student. But I understand, teacher. You got it. Okay, very good. So, stop. Stop. Mm -mm -mm. Otra vez. Stop. 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 Perfecto. Stay. Stay. Mm -hmm. Student. Student. Mm -hmm. Student. Stare. 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 Mm. Stare. Stare. Perfecto. Stare. Stare. <ríe> Correct. <ríe> ¿Ve? Hay muchísimas palabras que empiezan con S y siguen con otra consonante. Entonces es importante. Y de hecho todas las que escribió van ST, ST, ST. ¿Ok? Y, 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 de, y en el sketch, ¿qué es? Muy bien. Es K. Que yo. Que yo. La CH. Esa CH suena como K. 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 Ajá. Veamos. Schedule. Es schedule. Joe. Joe. Es schedule. Joe. Schedule. Así. Schedule. Schedule. Ahí está. Schedule. Schedule. Es una E Pero hablar de. Schedule. Ah, de eso no me gusta a mí. La fonética schedule. no. Nunca fue a la universidad para, para enseñar inglés. Entonces, fonética es como expli la explicación fonética de las palabras. Ni me gusta, ni le siento tanto. Um, yo no sé si usted ha visto algún TikTok donde los teachers empiezan a explicar con, con fonemas. Uh -huh. Ay, no, Dios mío. No todo el mundo entiende eso. A mí no me gusta personalmente, pero bueno. So, let's continue. Um, so, why you were late because of the meeting? What's your job? What do you do? I am auditor. Teacher. You're an auditor? Auditor. Yeah. Repeat, auditor. Auditor. Audit, audit, auditor. Auditor. 
Uh -huh, better. I am auditor. I'm an, I'm an auditor. I'm an auditor. I am auditor. Ajá. Ahora unimos las palabras. Um, I'm auditor. I'm, a, I'm, auditor. I'm an auditor. Así sería. I'm an auditor. Ok. I'm an auditor. I'm, a, I'm an auditor. I'm an auditor. I'm, I'm, let's see, let's see. I'm a yes. auditor. I'm, I'm a auditor. Ahí está. I'm a auditor. Yes. I'm a auditor. I'm a auditor. Perfect. Quiero que piensen esto. Quiero que piensen esto. ¿Ves lo que estamos haciendo? Yes. Ese am, cuando va con el artículo an, se une. Yes. I'm, an. Uh -huh. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a, I'm a... Not I'm an auditor. I'm an architect. It's important for me this part, I'm an auditor. Yeah. Because it's my introduction. <laughs> you, it's your introduction. This it's is your introduction. introduction. So you're an auditor and, and um, a private auditor or a public yeah. auditor? In the, my, the company is private. It's mm -hmm. a global company. Mm -hmm. And the firm is in 64 countries. Wow, okay. This is a trend in El Salvador. During the last five years, uh, I have seen this new line of business. This new line of business is new for El Salvador, but it's, it's very trendy. I, I have met many students working as um, auditors. So I pay you to audit my finances, right? My accounting. Exactly. My book, my accounting books. Man, do you like your job? Yes. What's the best thing about your job? Mm. The first? No, the best. Point? Oh, well, the ah, first the one. Best. Uh -huh. okay. The best um, is for continuing education. Oh, really? Continuous development? Yeah. They train you continuously? Constantly. Yes. Constantly. Yeah. Or you learn new things? Yes. The consequence, I learn new things and I love that. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So, so you found what you like to do in life. Yes. It's me, for example. I love my job. I, this is not a job. I, I mean, I enjoy I enjoy my job. Did you enjoy your job? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's rarely, but it's right. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. That's good. Yes. I am business administrator, mm -hmm. but in, in a master degree in finance. Oh, my but, God. That's amazing. But in this moment, mm -hmm. I am study. studying. Studying? Studying. Mm -hmm. Studying the other grade. The other degree, another degree? The other degree, the content public. Wow. Wow, that's admirable. Congratulations. I'm yes. envy. I'm, I'm I'm envious now. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm a crazy teacher. <laughs> oh no, but that's good. <laughs> the world is full of normal people. Yeah. So let's go crazy. Yes, in part of my job, I I know the, a lot of sector of the economic mm -hmm. because my clients uh, are assurance company, insurance, com insurance company, insurance 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 company industry mm -hmm. manufacturing commerce e-commerce wow in service sector and i love to work with the other people that's amazing oh my god well time's up <laughs> but i hope Thank to you, see you me. tomorrow don't worry i mean if you're late it's okay but be in the class you helped me a lot okay <laughs> thank you teacher good night Thank you. Thank have some, you. Have I... some rest. Yeah. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> later. <night>. Later. <laughs> later. Good okay. night. Good Bye. night. Good night.